I've got another sensory box. This one is for younger children from about two months to three months, up uh, to about six months, even up to a year. Okay, so as you can see, it says sensory box. Um, I stuck on a whole bunch of goodies, um, textile goodies. This is some shale from the beach, feather, pom pom, beads, pipe cleaner, sequins, pipe cleaner, shiny one, foil, straw, and pom poms. There's some yarn, there's some shell, shell, a shell. <laughs> and this box is for baby Nedbird, my nephew that I'm expecting uh, to arrive in July so this box is going to be sent to the US for my sister for her first baby very exciting okay so the first thing I've put in this little bag is some yarn and a balloon uh, the idea is to make it yourself um, so the idea is to blow up the balloon and to make a face and you and then you dangle it in front of the baby and you get the baby to hit the balloon or kick the balloon and while uh, for about three months four months they start focusing on faces so that's why I've drawn a face here okay then I've got two paper plates okay so this is just black and white which is contrasting colors um, that you can just initially use for for their eyes to follow follow their eye let their eyes follow up down and then I've also made a, a custom one for baby Nedvert with black white and red are your contra contrasting colors and these are excellent for children at two months old very simple then I've made use some veggie bags and cellophane so you just tie knots into the veggie bag and you roll balls of cellophane you can either make one long one or two small ones this is nice for them to uh, they can use it in their to bite squeeze do this at their ear they have their face turned that way to see if they go to the sound so this is a really nice tactile experience as well as sound. Okay, and then I've got a little, it's uh, from a medicine um, tube. I had uh, something called ACC in here. You get Kelsey Beta, something similar, just a little tube. And I've put some shiny um, paper, uh, sticky, sticky, sticky paper. And there's just a little shaker for the little one. Get them to try grip it. And they'll love that. Just moving. Okay. Then I've got a cut up recycled paper from um, the back of uh, a book of cardboard. So the first one I've done is I've taken a little bead and I've tied on the ribbon and this one is quite fun to put above them and let them try to grasp. Everything is hot glued so that it sticks and it shouldn't come off. Um, so there you've just got a nice experience for them. You can put it above them, let them follow their eyes, try to grab the ribbons touch number one number two I've got pom-poms and I've made little nests with yarn around there and that's just a really nice te texture for them to explore okay this one I've used little beads and shiny foam paper and just a, a lovely lovely tactile experience then I stuck feathers There again, we've got our red, white, and black contrasting colors, but I've cut this out of felt, so this is a really nice tactile experience as well. Then this is just a recycled piece of a shiny wrapping paper, 
also like cellophane it has a nice sound and it has a nice texture and it's all bumpy from the hot glue and the way it's stuck I think it's going to be an excellent experience then I've used pipe cleaners to make some circles this is a um, some net that came uh, I had a bunch of flowers wrapped in this it's just something that I found I kept in my wrapping up box also just a nice different experience of course and pom-poms I hope you enjoy the video and baby Nedvid I hope you enjoy your sensory box your auntie loves you to the moon and back